Comparing and ordering fractions and mixed numbers. We might be asked to compare the two of these. As you see right over here, on the left-hand side, we have a mixed number. We have an improper fraction on the right-hand side, or a fraction on the right-hand side. What we will want to do is we want to make them so that they are the same thing, so that we are comparing the same things, both mixed numbers or both improper fractions. If we want to make 3 and 1 half to an improper fraction, um, each of the holes is worth 2 halves, so 3 holes is worth 6 halves, put it together with the 1 half, that is 7 halves. And so this is what I was talking about. And at that point we get 7 halves, comparing it with 8 halves. Since the denominators are the same at this point, 7 is less than 8, so we could go ahead and place a less than sign there. You'll notice that I showed my work right here as to how it is that I approach this problem. That is the most important thing as we're working here. This would have been sufficient for me to really show that you did change them so that they are both the same, meaning that they are both improper fractions in this case and with that same denominator. Here's another problem. We have 11 fourths comparing it with 2 and 3 fourths. This time, instead of changing the mixed number to an improper fraction, I'll take the improper fraction and change it to a mixed number. So 4 goes into 11 two whole times with the remainder of 3. So that's 3 fourths. So 2 and 3 fourths, up, 2 and 3 fourths, those two are equal. Again, thinking of 11 divided by 4, changing that improper fraction to a mixed number. So they're both mixed numbers in this case, and then we can just compare them. Here's one step forward from there. You'll notice this time we have different denominators. So we'll start by changing the improper fraction to a mixed number. 4 goes into 15 three whole times because 4 times 3 is 12 and 15 minus 12 is 3. That's why it's 3 and 3 fourths. We're comparing 3 and 3 fourths with 3 and 1 half at this point. 3 and 1 half can be rewritten. We have the same denominator right here as there. By multiplying by 2 over 2, we keep that whole portion the same and then we go ahead and rewrite that fractional portion of that mixed number. So in between those two, to complete that number sentence then, we can go ahead and put a less than sign. 3 and 1 half is less than 15 fourths. So we just added one more step there where we had to have a common denominator in order to compare those two. Again, if you're more comfortable with converting 3 and 1 half to 7 halves and then finding that common denominator that approach will work as well. Either approach will work just as long as you um, follow all the appropriate steps. Here are two problems for you to try. Please go ahead and copy them down. Be sure to have the same denominator for that second one there. And you're converting them so that you're comparing the same things, either both mixed numbers or both improper fractions. Please hit pause. Your work may be different. Remember, you must show your work, though. 13 sevenths is equal to 1 and 6 sevenths. 1 and 6 sevenths, 2 and 1 seventh. I already know that this is less than because 1 is less than 2. 6 fifths, 1 and 1 tenth. This time, I'm going to go ahead and use an improper fraction. I'll say 11 tenths here for this here because each of those holes is worth 10 tenths plus 1 tenth is 11 tenth. And then for the 6 fifths, I'm going to go ahead and multiply by 2 in the numerator and denominator to go ahead and also get it to tenths. So now I'm comparing 12 tenths with 11 tenths, and I know that oops, 12 is bigger than 11, or greater than 11. So I know that 6 fifths is, that, is bigger than 1 and 1 tenth. 6 fifths is greater than 1 and 1 tenth. So after you write in a sign, as I did there, I looked at it again, and it was in my head, I'm looking at it, and I looked at it and I was saying, hey, it's wrong. And that's, fortunately, I did catch my mistake before writing that final answer. It's always a good idea to look at your work and check it again, 
to make sure that it makes sense. Let's now take a look at ordering. Ordering these mixed numbers and fractions. All right, this says to order from least to greatest. You'll notice there that I have an improper fraction and two mixed numbers. Now, it's easiest at this point. Mathematicians always look to like, like to look for the easier way to change that improper fraction to a mixed number. 5 goes into 12 two whole times with that remainder of 2, 2 and 2 fifths. Now we're now comparing 2 and 2 fifths to 3 and 1 tenths and 2 and 1 fifth. It would be nice to also get a common denominator. It looks like a common denominator would be 10 in this case. So 12 fifths is really just 2 and 4 tenths. 2 and 1 fifth is 2 and 2 tenths. And then I can go ahead and compare them. I'm going from least to greatest. Don't make that common mistake of ordering them in the wrong direction. In this case, least to greatest, smallest then. 2, 3, and 2. We'll compare the 2's now. 4 is bigger than 2, so 2 and 2 tenths is the smallest. Now, when we're writing out this list, we have to give them the same way that they were originally given to us. 2 and 1 fifth. Then, it's 2 and 4 tenths, which is was originally given to us as 12 fifths. That is a very common mistake. To rewrite the list where it is that it doesn't have the appropriate value because you made some um, equivalents for them and then you write what it is. You either write 2 and 2 fifths in your list or 2 and 4 tenths in your list, which you can't do. So this is our list now, ordered from least to greatest. And then so you could look one more time to make sure that you have included all of those numbers that were originally given to you in the correct manner. All right, it's time for you to try. Order this list from greatest to least. Show your work as you're working here. You might want to change the 19.6 into a mixed number. Please go ahead and hit pause. All right, 19, 6 to a mixed number. 6 goes into 19 three whole times with that remainder of 1. So that's just 3 and 1 6. We have 3 and 4 6 here, so it'd be nice to go ahead and write 3 and 1 third as 3 and 2 6. We are now ready to go ahead, that we all have mixed numbers here, we're ready to go ahead and return this list back from greatest to least. And then so the biggest there, 3, 3, 3, 2, 1, 4, so this is biggest. It was given to us as 3 and 4 6, so that's what we will write. 3 and 2 6 comes next, which was given to us originally as 3 and 1 3rd. And finally, 3 and 1 6, which is given to us as 19 6. So this is our order list from greatest to least. Greatest to least. And that's how we order those mixed numbers and improper fractions. All right, if you were asked to compare these, there would be two approaches that you could take. What do you need to do? What do you need to do? You need to make sure that they are both the same on both sides, meaning that they're both either mixed numbers or both improper fractions. 3 and 1 half as a improper fraction is 7 halves. Now, you're not done at this point. In other words, you have 7 halves and you have 17 fourths. You still can't just write a number, something in there to go ahead and compare them because the what are not the same. The denominators are not the same. How do I get that 2 to a 4? We multiply by 2, not only the denominator but also in the numerator. And so you must show that work. 14 is less than 17. 14 fourths is less than 17 fourths. So that 3 and 1 half is less than 17 fourths. So again, must have that common denominator and when you're comparing them, you should be comparing the same things, either both mixed numbers or both improper fractions. If we were to asked to order this list from least to greatest, 3 and 1 third, 9 thirds, and 2 and 5 6, let's go ahead and convert this 9 thirds into um, its whole number in this case. 9 thirds, 9 divided by 3 is 3. There's no remainder in that case. So we're asked to order from least to greatest. 
the other thing that we'll need to do is to go ahead and get a common denominator for 3 and 1 third and three, 2 and 5 6. So that's 3 and 2 6. So then we can go ahead and write out that list. Least to greatest, it must be given back, again, review-wise, must be given back the same way that it was originally given to us. So smallest there, 2 is smaller than both of those 3's, so 2 and 5, 6 comes first. Next comes 3, but 3 should be rewritten as what? 9 thirds. What do we write out last? What do we write out last? Hopefully you said 3 and 1 third. Remember, it must be given back that same way that it was originally given to us. Always check, make sure that you've written each of those correctly, and then you're done. You know how to order and compare fractions and mixed numbers.